Welcome everybody to a brand new game that was released yesterday, December 11th, 2019. This will be the first look of this game on the channel. It's a little bit different game for the channel. I do play a lot of games like this, such as the predecessor, Transport Fever 1, which came out in 2016. I played that all the way up until yesterday. Please don't forget to subscribe to the Wolfpack and join our Discord. That link is also in the description below. And if you play these games, drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite industries are and uh, how you get your goods around. Do you use the boats? Do you use the trucks, trains, airliners? What do you use? Do you use them all? And by all means, if you see me doing something that's uh, screwed up or have any suggestions on how to better my gameplay i am by no means a master at this game i just play the game and enjoy it and i learn a lot from the viewers as well through feedback in the comments we are going to jump right into it we're going to go into a free game i did some research already and i know that my map key that i'm going to be playing on is r6 x g lowercase e Okay. We are going to use these settings for hills, water, and forest, as well as medium uh, number of towns and a medium number of industries. That gives us 16 towns and 129 industries. Uh, I think any more than that, we might just get a little cluttered and confused, so we will give it a shot. The map is going to be very large. I should not have a problem playing that on my system. Our year is going to be 1850. I typically play the USA. We're going to go ahead and let the game load up, and we will be right back. There are a lot of industries, there are a lot of towns to choose from, so I like to go ahead and pause the game to get an overview and see how we are going to start out. Uh, it's going to be a slow start, I have a feeling, so we do not overstretch our budget. Right now we have $5 million to get this transportation company off the ground. Usually I want to go too big too fast and I run in a deficit of a, like a million dollars and then I'm broke in a, a matter of seconds. I'm going to try to keep that under wraps and we will go from there. All right, we've done a little looking around. I think we are going to start in the Boise and the New Haven area. Uh, we do have a couple of options for making a steel mill. Uh, we have iron ore, we have coal in the very general vicinity of this steel mill. Then this steel can be trucked to the machines factory, and then we just have to find some place to get wood planks to make the machines, which then can go into Boise and grow Boise. Uh, in addition, uh, right near New Haven, we do have a farm right here that we can connect up to here to create food for New Haven and uh, grow this city as well. So we have a uh, potential of coal, machine, and steel over here. We have a uh, potential for food and construction uh, materials right here. And then we will grow from there and see how it goes. First thing we're going to do is uh, be able to get some people around to their shops. Uh, this is what I want to do first. And uh, we're going to use one depot for the whole thing. So I will be looking for a road depot and we're going to put it on the outskirts of town took me a little while but the m and the n keys are the way to rotate these things so the m and the n and if you need to you can use uh, the shift m and n and it is less of a less of a rotation each time and we will put a road depot right in here for twenty one thousand game our first road depot is in uh, we've broken ground in new haven as our transportation company and I think our first move, um, which is going to be the easiest, I think is going to be bringing food from here down to here, and then we'll be able to drop the food right into New Haven itself. So I do want to be able to get the residents of New Haven around their town. So I am going to create a bus line. Uh, we'll do that right away to be able to get people from point A to point B within New Haven itself. So let's go over here, and we will take a look and see which one of these will tell us. There we go. So we have residential, high residential. These are all the, the, the tiers up here. And uh, so we have industry over here. We have commercial over here. And we have our residential area right here. So we're going to link these with bus stops and then create a bus uh, line, which is essentially a horse and carriage line at this point. I do like the ability for, for all this to be turning around. We can run a bus, uh, a bus line down here, come up through the residential, right back out through the commercial and we might even be able to link these two roads up uh, initially. That way they can come down and we can have a complete loop here, which will be our initial bus line. Let's take a look and see what we can do with that, and we will be right back. So as you can see, the buses, uh, this has improved a little bit. We have the uh, arrows there, so we'll be able to drop a bus line right there. First bus stop, look at that. Um, we are going to drop a bus stop right over here. We will drop a bus stop right over here in the commercial area, and then one right here in the industrial area, I think. 
That should do it. We'll create our first line right now. Uh, they're going to hit the residential area first. That's what's going to be. So this is going to be, just so we can keep everything organized eventually, this one is going to be New Haven bus line. And this will probably end up being a downtown line at some point. This is going to be the first stop, residential. Add a station, residential, residential, commercial, and then industrial. So now all we need is a couple of vehicles to do so. $95,000, we have bought our first four road vehicles. We will assign them to that line and they will start rolling out. So we have people moving around. Here comes our parade of buses. They will eventually space themselves out and uh, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully it'll make us a little bit of money. And uh, these little markers here, that's people waiting at the bus stop. And uh, we are transporting people. First bus arrived. Buy a bus, run a line. Kicking achievements down like crazy. All right. We can't rest on our laurels here. So we will uh, kick off. And we are going to bring food from the New Haven farm. And we're going to bring it over here to the food processing plant. We are going to have to lay some uh, country roads for that. And uh, let's see how it works out. First passenger on board. We have a passenger on a vehicle. All right, let's take a ride with one of our buses. Here's our first bus of the Naval 49 Transportation Company running around New Haven. Like I said, the, the game is uh, very aesthetically pleasing. The uh, factories and the, the time period uh, of the building construction is, is, uh, is very well done. I am impressed with this game uh, visually, for sure. Uh, we'll see how the gameplay goes, goes, but if it's anything like uh, Transport Fever 1, it's, it's going to be excellent. Let's go ahead and build a road so we can get the food from here down to the uh, food processing plant. We're going to route our road around this hill, for sure. We're going to make it a windy country type road, because uh, I don't want to be going up and down hills. And we will run it right over here on this contour line. That will give us our first route. Uh, and uh, we will have our first industry. One. We can still use this depot. We don't have to build another one. We can buy some vehicles for, used for cargo. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to get four or five right off the bat because we will be, it is a long haul there. So we're going to invest $119,000 to uh, start running food or from the farm to the processing plant. Probably going to buy at least two, maybe three to bring the food from the processing plant down to New Haven. We need to make a truck stop over here that will be able to deliver the food. Truck station right here. Let's spin this around so it can hook up. You can see that highlighted, meaning that it will be served by this truck station. If I go too far away, it won't be served by the truck station. I will try and get it pretty much right on top of it. And I'm going to keep this thing tight to the road, make it nice. Row ad. All right, there's our first truck station. We'll need another one up here by the farm. We don't want to take out any fields, and we want to be able to use that farm for sure. So we want to have it close, but not too close where it's going to knock out a field. We're going to sneak it in right here. That way they can build fields uh, over there in that forest if need be. And that will give us uh, a route. Go ahead and make a new line. Add a station. This is our first stop because that's where the food is. One. And two to drop the food. And then we add them to the New Haven food line. And we are off and running. If you're enjoying this content and finding value, please don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and join the wolf pack don't forget to join the discord in the link in the description below we would love to have you in the wolf pack so right now this is what uh everything's quality is very good transportation is very good i don't know what that is emissions are very good okay very good that's because it's horses uh, people using the line and that's uh that's what we need Let's see if there's any other place to bring this that's uh, relatively easy. It does not look like it. I don't see any more food processing plants. Once these guys start getting going and loading up and transporting uh, the food down to the food processing plant, we'll take a look and see if we need to add any more, uh, more than five onto the line. It's very possible that we will need to, but we shall see. 
Right now, our earnings are negative a half a million in 1850. That's a lot of money. So it's uh, just turned July 10th of 1851. We've been playing about a year and a half, and uh, we will see what happens in the next uh, couple of years. We can get it. First cargo on board. Have cargo item transported with one of our vehicles. That is good to go. So we have picked up our first load of food at the warehouse up here, uh, which is essentially a farm, but it's at our truck stop. We are getting full loads, and we are heading down to the food processing plant. This farm is going to kick out a tremendous supply. We could probably run a fully loaded train back and forth, but we're not going to start investing money in train lines just in this yet. Episode, I still would like to get some our first load of food from here into New Haven before we end the episode. So let's see how it goes. We'll let this play out for a little while, and I will bring you back when we get a little closer. All right, so here we go with our first load of food. Coming, I'm sorry, for our first load of grain coming from the farm at New Haven, pulling into the food processing plant truck stop in New Haven. So we just made $6,000. We see the food processing plant. Uh, the New Haven processing plant is now in operation. It is now starting to kick off production, and uh, hopefully we can level it up and uh, make it worth our while. Another load, we have a lot of food up at that farm to bring down here, so that is a good thing. We just have to figure out how many trucks or horse and carriages that we need on this line until the motorized vehicles come along and we can do it a little bit more efficiently. We're having full loads being brought in. Uh, it's automatically transferred from here over to there. I don't know why he's waiting so long to get the hell out of there, but... Let's see where we can fit this truck stop in and make it uh, relatively easy to get food in and out of the city. I think what we will do, I might connect these two roads. Let's see how that works. So we're going to add a street. We're going to make it a big street. Four lane, I think. No, we don't want that. I don't want to remove the vehicle. And this is going to end up being one of our main streets in the town. And I think we're going to run it right over through here. And uh, even though it's going to remove two houses, this is going to be one of our main, uh, one of our main roads. Whoop, look at that. I guess they like that. Uh, so now we are going to go ahead and put in our truck stop. So I, I do see our commercial area growing uh, this way based on what we just did there. I'm going to put it right across the street from the depot. And then we need to create a line. Well, here to here. We could take and get four cargo horse-drawn carriages. We'll, uh, we're going to go ahead and buy three for now because it is a short trip. And we're going to put them on the processed food line and see how it works out for us. Still doesn't show any um, production. Maybe we need to have a little bit more there. So it's a good chance that our, our trucks, our initial trucks, uh, they won't have anything to run uh, first. So as soon as we get this set up it looks like we have to run we have to get at least 20 up here to to start our shipment but i guess we'll see i'm not really sure how that works out yet so new haven is growing nicely it's gotten larger so we will uh, i think we're going to take a look at our line here and see what we may need to do to change it up to make it a little bit more efficient we're going to run this street straight across and that will give us a straight shot right across uh, the town all right now let's adjust the line so West Street is the only original station that we had. So let's go ahead and one, and then two, three, and four. And that should give us a little bit better loop and make it a little bit more efficient for New Haven bus line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let all this run for right now. I'm going to see how the bus lines work out, see how the food line works out. Once we get some food to deliver into New Haven, I'll bring you guys back. All right, everybody, it looks like we've stirred our uh, production here. We've made eight. We have uh, food now waiting at the New Haven Annex. We're bringing in more grain to be processed here. Uh, we do have several wagonfuls of food now that's uh, waiting to be transported into New Haven. So this guy's going to pick up four. Uh, that's our first full load heading to New Haven now. We do have uh, one wagon that picked up one and uh, took off before others were ready, but that's our, that's okay. So we do have a, a, a pretty decent spacing of trucks now uh, that are heading back up. We have uh, 9, 8, 7, 6, and then 5. They're, these guys are all heading up to uh, to get grain. 
Here is our first full load of food coming into New Haven, which will be sold in the shops. The shops being right here. 4,000. Very nice. Um, we are right. starting to make a little bit of money. We're still operating at a deficit, but that's okay. We're a fledgling uh, transportation company, and that's what happens. All right, Wolfpack, that's going to do it for episode number one. You can see we've grown New Haven quite a bit from the beginning of the episode till now. Join us in the next episode. We're going to probably move into another town or maybe even join up two towns to start a passenger line. And uh, we'll, we'll figure out what goes on from there as, uh, as the game plays out. As always, please don't forget to hit that like button and make sure if you're new to the channel that you hit that subscribe button and tap that notifications bell so you're notified of any content that becomes available on the channel. There will be more on this series for sure. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.